What's Ruby like? Because I know him well. Like he's a, he's it's between himself and McCoy, and and, and we're blessed in this country. But Ruby is a step above. He's just, he's one of the most talented jockeys of our generation, or probably of all time. What's he like as an older brother? Is he? Would he slag you now over you? I know. Come on, or is oh he? Oh God, yeah. Sure. I mean, like. You know, of course, like I'd be abusing him and he'd be abusing me, he'd be slagging. I mean, if you don't have that, if you don't have a bit of fun and a bit of cracking, and, a and bit he's of got the old chauffeur driven nothing. Mercedes car around the country, it won't be long before you have that. <laughs> no, I'm all right for a while. Now, and listen, and Nina, you're coming from your house, you're, 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 you're a horse mad. What, what age were you in the first set up in a horse? Um, I suppose mum would know more than I would. Um, I'd say around two or whenever she, we, she, she, we could rock, I suppose we were on them. She always had us on w with her, like, you know, and we learned off that. Did you always feel that Paul and Philip, the older brothers who were very well known, who were riding winners, did you always know that that was the, that was the path you were going to take? At 16, did you say, or 15, did you ever say, nah, do you know what, I'd like to be a doctor? <laughs> no, well, I wouldn't like to be a doctor, I'd like to be a physiotherapist. Well, I went the same route as Danny Mullins and Martin Harley did. I did a lot of pony racing before I came, so that kind of got me the bug. Do you know, and uh, then it started from there and got my dad had a horse for me, a bumper horse for me. So finished third and him three times before I even got anywhere. So that was great to have a horse at home. Do you remember your own. first ever winner as an amateur jockey? I do. It was up to Curra and won for Noel Mead. So it was rememberable, you know. No wonder. And Katie, do you remember your first winner? Do you remember? I did, yeah. It was in Gorn on a horse called Hannon in an amateur flat race. What do you feel that moment when you went over the line? Oh, sure. It's brilliant. I mean, everyone that has a license wants to ride a winner. But as soon as you ride a winner, you want to ride another winner. <laughs> Tell me this, ladies and fellas, men and women, boys and girls, it's a male-dominated sport. You're rewriting the books at the moment because you're breaking the rules, if there are any rules, when there's no rules. You're in there mixing it with the, with the males. How hard was it? How hard is it? And is it getting any easier, Nina? Um, I... See, it's, it's very easy for me and Katie because we came from very good backgrounds and we had a lot of tutoring before we did anything. But uh, I can understand how hard it would be for a person starting off. And even for a lad starting off, it's very hard. Yeah. You know? And you um, just need to be dedicated and go to race, get all the tuition you need and get as stylish as you can and look good when you do win. Like, you know, and then you might be asked to ride again. So. Good. Now, tell us how things are going. You're, running, you're, you're riding at a, at a serious yard, no need. Uh, one of Ireland's top trainers, a uh, 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 champion trainer, many, many times. He's got a serious uh, lot of horses. How's things going at Knowles? Great, yeah. He's got a lot of horses in, and uh, they were quiet over the summer. He didn't have many of them in, so they're hopefully now ready to go now well, for the and winter. JP McManus has a horse with Noel Mead at the moment who didn't come off the bridle last year. It's a horse called Jared. Yeah. You ever sat up on him and, and yeah. knocked him? I, I wrote a, I a book on him, and... Um, definitely want to look forward to on good ground. We, are, we have no pressure on you here now. You know, there's a trainer called Jimmy Mangan who four years ago told us Connor Castle. Paul Nolan three years ago gave us Kill Devil Hill. Tony, Mar Tony Mullins gave us uh, Gus McRae. Yesterday Dusty Sheehy gave us Quintana. Edward O'Grady gave us a bumper horse called O'Huckagon that hasn't won yet but he's ran twice, second and third. So these people who are in recession, they've just all bank, they've lost all the money on Combine Harvesters and Bank of Ireland shares. <laughs> I'm just looking for one winner, just one little winner, just a little horse that'll take us out of the doldrums. In the middle of November, I don't mind when it is, he'll go to Navin out of the Ted Walsh stable and he might bolt up. Katie, first, get your notebooks and pens out. God, well, he mightn't win soon, but we think of a lot of a horse called Be Beautiful Sound. Beautiful Sound. He ran last year, didn't he? He did. He won an amateur chase in Fairy House, Ross right. Rodham. And uh, he was off then, but he's back in now, and we think a lot of him. You think a lot of him. And when, when they say they think a lot of him, that means they think a lot of him. Now, Nina, you be riding some nice horses, and don't say Steve Coppola, I get no price myself. Tell us this. A nice horse out of Noel Mead's yard, or any of the other trainers you ride for, but especially Noel, who's got such a powerful stable. Yeah, there's a few lovely horses there. Um, they're all quite young, and a lot of them aren't named yet, so... Um, it's a bit difficult to say, but... Uh, Even one from last year that might develop, that was a two-year, uh, like a, a bumper horse last year. Um, uh, that JP might have, JP Young McKeown might have rode and might develop. Uh, what or, ones are or anyone that you sit on in the morning that gives you a good feel, <laughs> Nina. Don't mind her, she knows plenty. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Come on, come on, um, come on, come on. One mead woman. No, I won't. I rode a horse in the Kerry Nash last week and I finished third and I, I think he'll improve again, so... What's his name? General Striker. General striker for Noel. No, for Enda Bulger. For Enda Bulger. And you have a great relationship there.